Hello and welcome back and um, today's video I'd like to talk about living with fibromyalgia. Hello and welcome back to the channel my name's Gavin and in today's video I'm going to talk about living with fibromyalgia and it's just to explain really what a person with it feels like because people don't quite understand what you're going through and it's hard to explain really so um, I'm going to try and explain it as much as I can um, but anyway I'll give it a go so um, where shall I start so just it will be it will now be just over four years ago when mine actually started. Um I have lived a very stressful life, so I think that could be the cause of it, I'm not sure. Um but anyway, um at the time it started, didn't think anything of it. Um I was working and it just felt like I was getting a stitch in my side. Um, normally when you've tried walking too fast, too much or anything like that or something like that. And I didn't think anything of it at the time. I was just at work um, in, in the warehouse just picking orders for customers. And... That started in around July time and it would come and go. I didn't think much of it. And then over the weeks and months it just sort of progressed and progressed and um, the stitch would just never go away. And it was getting more of a stitch and more into pain, more and more pain down the right hand side of my body. And it got to around November time of that year. And it, the pain just got so bad. I was at work. I, I couldn't move. I couldn't bend down. I couldn't do anything. The pain was just so, so bad. And um, I just got sent home from work. I couldn't do anything. And... After that, just got to a stage where no matter what I did, I couldn't do anything. Um, and things sort of progressed from there. Um, my whole body now, um, how to explain it? I the pain is constant down my right hand side still all the time and then it just spreads around everywhere there's no guessing when it's going to happen um, you can you can go to bed and then wake up in the morning and not be able to move whatsoever it's a case of not knowing each day what, what you're going to wake up like Um um, how else can I explain it my body now permanently feels like you know when you've got flu you just your body just aches all over constantly you don't really want to move or anything just that constant ache well now I've got that permanently everywhere in my body got the ache with the pain and along with that my legs are just stiff constantly and you try and do anything and you're just in constant pain just trying to do anything um, I'm on medication I've been on lots of various different medications um, swapped changed increased 
you name it, and I'm, I'm at the stage now where um, they've raised my medication up to a certain limit and they've said that's it, We're you're at your limit now, we can't do much else. Um, so I, I try and I want to do things every day, but with the stiff legs and the achiness and the pain, just sitting here, depending on what position I'm in, depending on how I'm hurting on each day, um, I can sit here one day, be fine, sit here another day, pain, I have to sit, swap to the other end of the sofa, lean the other way, it's just so hit and miss. Um, not knowing how you're going to feel each day and then with the stiff legs and also that's created restless leg as well which is also a nightmare going to bed I have medication for that but sometimes it, it doesn't kick in sometimes it does and for a lot of pe a lot of people will know that going to bed with restless leg it is just so irritating. You can't keep your legs still and it just stops you getting sleep. And on top of all the pain and everything as well, um, in my case, for certain, I don't get a lot of sleep. I have to wait till I'm really, really tired before I go to bed so that I can get to sleep. Because if I go to bed before that, nothing. So, about six hours is the most I get. Um, and you sort of get used to that, I suppose. And then, um, on top of that, we've also got osteoarthritis in my knees. And that is sort of spreading up here as well. So, my knees hurt. Um, this right knee locks and I have to crack it straight again I think I've got like a, a bone burr or something whatever you call it in there uh, bone spur something like that but my knees hurt a lot I've got medication for that but it only lasts so long if you try and do something um, I started playing golf to try and help with that um, obviously I can't walk around of course so I use a buggy all the time um, just to get a bit just to get me out really get a bit of fresh air um, a bit of exercise really just to get out of the house and it does help helps you um, unwind a bit just to get out of it um, but other than that once I've been, I literally cannot move for the whole week again. Um, no matter what I do, it hurts. And now on top of that, I'm having the problems. I've got no strength in the hands. I don't know if you can tell that. The white at the moment. I, I have been to the hospital and had some tests. And I'm still waiting for the results of those. Hopefully I'll have them next week with a bit of luck. Um, but anyway, back to the fibro. With fibro, it's, you just wake up in the morning. Or should I say, you just go to bed not knowing how you're going to feel each day. So I don't make any plans anymore. Um, just take each day as it comes. Um, if, if I'm able to do something, I'll try, I'll try and do some cleaning around the house. Um, even a vacuum. I got I got a lighter vac um, cordless vacuum so I could try and do some cleaning. But I would get maybe a quarter of the room done, if that, before I'm in too much pain to carry on. Um, so like I say I just don't plan anything anymore um, the legs 
uh, more stiff in the morning. So when when you've been to bed at night, if you've been to bed at night, sometimes I just sleep on here because I can't get back up the stairs again. I'm in just too much pain. And it's just easier to stay down here. Um, but when you wake up is when your legs are more stiff. Um, sometimes it gets easier through the day. Sometimes it doesn't. So that's how it is really. Um, but trying to explain that to people. Um, just going out, out somewhere. I have my stick. If I'm not going too far. Uh, meaning not too far from the car to where to the shop or anything I'm going into. If I need to go a little bit further, I've got a a walking frame with wheels and I just feel embarrassed to use it because um I'm only forty two. Um up here I'm still forty two but the rest of my body is way older that's how it feels and I, I just you just feel like when you go out somewhere and you've got your stick and things and people look at you and judge you without knowing what you're going through and I just find it a bit embarrassing sometimes I don't know how you you feel if you're in a similar situation um, drop some comments below let me know how fibromyalgia affects you, um, if you struggle or if you found a way um, to get through it. But, I mean, I've found a way, um, of, like I say, of just not planning anything and taking each day as it comes. I wasn't talking to you, Alexa. <laughs> Shush. Um, so my my oldest son is 21 now he he lives at home and he is down as a carer for me now because things are just so hard i don't trust myself in the kitchen because i drop things um and he helps with the cooking and cleaning the things now um, my daughter lives at home as well but she's an apprentice she's got things she wants to do and uh, but my son decided he would help at home basically so he puts the washing in does the cooking and cleaning my daughter does cooking and cleaning on the odd occasion um, I try um, but most of the times I try I fail so um, sometimes you just don't try because you're not going to get anywhere with it. It can get you down sometimes, but you can't let it beat you. Um, I may end up in a wheelchair at some stage, I don't know, but I'm not just going to give in and let it beat me. I'm going to keep trying to do stuff, whether it hurts or not. And playing golf is an example of that. Um, uh, what else is there to explain? Um, fibromyalgia can also cause IBS. So some days I struggle with that. Um, that tends to happen when I have a, a flare-up. Obviously I'm like this constantly, pain, stiff. But sometimes everything just gets, that's hard to explain really. The pain and stiffness just hurt more and more. You go through a stage where it can last for a week, two weeks, where it is just so overpowering. And that can cause the IBS and you can be going to the toilet five, six, seven, eight times a day. Um, obviously going upstairs 
or when you're in so much pain than that as well. It um, can be difficult. So days like that, um, I basically, I just don't get out of bed because I can't get out of bed. Plus, it's closer to the bathroom. Um, it does get a bit rough sometimes. But um, you get through it. I've got two kids that help look after me. Um, so I can't complain about that. And I just take each day as it comes now. So, as I say, um, the best way to sum it up is it is fibro feels like you've got a permanent flu, just the aches and the pains around your whole body. And then on top of that, the the pain I'm in constantly down the right hand side anyway, the stiff legs, um, you hurt, you hurt just being touched. Someone could just poke you like that. Like that. <laughs> um, just the slightest touch or anything, slightest bang on your arm, you can bruise straight away. But just being poked or touched or anything, it, it just hurts. When it wouldn't hurt anybody normally. And um, so that has been four years now um, July yeah just over four years now when this all started originally um, the first tests just come back with gout um, which would explain the cramps that I always used to get in this left leg I have a problem with this left leg as well um, so I'm on medication for that and then it took it took a year to get to the right specialist to be told of the condition I've got fibromyalgia, which I just say fibro. Um, and that's it really. So that's the best way I can explain it. Um, for me anyway, that's how it affects me. I don't know if it, how it affects you. If it affects you in different ways, drop a comment. Um, let people know how you feel. But this is the way that it affects me. Stiffness, pain, achiness. Just like a permanent flu, with, but with pain. Um, I can't think of any, anything, any other way I can put it. Um, and it just knocks you off your feet near enough all the time you can get the you get the odd day wake wake up thinking oh I might be able to do something today and then as, you, as soon as you start doing it it's like a slap across the face you just Knocked back off your feet again, sat back down, lay back down, whatever position you can get just to get comfortable if if that's at all possible. And you're back to square one again. And like I say, I'm on numerous medications for various parts. Uh, the pain, my knees, my restless legs. Um, <laughs> which is why when I was diagnosed diabetic at the beginning of this year the doctor said you're better off on the keto diet because we don't want you on more medication you want enough as it is so that's how it's been since so I have managed still be managing to lose weight um, I just need to start doing something even just once a week, which is my intention on a Monday to just try and even just use a vibration plate. Um, I'm, next week I'm going to t 
try and see if vibration plate helps lose belly fat. It's just a little test to have. I'm going to try. I'm also trying the lemon juice in coffee to see if that helps. Um, lots of things. But the weight has been going down. I was hoping that would sort of help with the pain, but it hasn't. Um, the pain is still the same. So um, I'm not sure where that's going to go. But frankly, like I say, I've got two kids that help do things around the house. And um, that's it, basically. I can't think of another way of describing it. Um, no. If you've got a better way of describing it or the way it affects you, just drop a comment below. Have a chat. Let me know, let other people know, just like I'm letting you know now, just how it affects you on a daily basis. So um, that will do for today. Um, I'll try and get a few videos out shortly um, because I've not been putting much on just lately because I've just not been well enough to record any videos. Um, I'm going to try do try to. I also think medication is med making me slur a lot more. I think it's a medication anyway. Um, sometimes I really have trouble talking properly and get my words mixed up and everything. I never used to be like that. Um, but anyway, um, next few weeks I'm going to start posting some videos. Um, probably on foods that I'm eating for the keto diet and just show people um, what sort of things I eat through the week. Anyhow, I want to thank you all for watching. Drop a comment below. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll keep these videos going. So, thank you very much.